I'm in Vietnam. What the heck am I doing in Vietnam? I never thought I would ever want to come here. I had no interest, but I was traveling in Asia and something told me, go see it and learn the history since your country has a history with Vietnam. Now, imagine yourself in a foreign land, away from your home and fighting a war. Now imagine your plane has been shot down and you're parachuting into this lake, nearly drowning. Then you're dragged out of the water and beaten by the city's residents, angry at the previous US attacks in the area, later to be taken as a prisoner of war. This is what happened to John McCain during the Vietnam War. This is the very spot McCain was captured. I can't help but feel chills thinking of being a prisoner of war. This show is not political, and this episode is not about the war. I'm just sharing the emotion that came over me as I walked past the lake. Welcome to Hanoi. Let's explore this mysterious land called Vietnam. Hi, Jeffrey. My name is Jeffrey Peterson. I love meeting new people, traveling with no plan, and my goal is to get my passport full. Come on! The first thing you notice in Hanoi is the smells. It's musky. The motorbike exhaust in the air makes it unbearable. Then you get a whiff of some exotic foods that balance it out. The stinky smell of Hanoi is something that you either love or hate. The streets are crowded and the sidewalks are small and sometimes non-existent. If you're walking, you must always be on high alert. There's a sea of reckless motorbikes everywhere in sight. Today, I'm on my way to Hanoi Snake Village to eat some cobra snake. Feel like munching on a still beating cobra heart? Then the neighborhood of Lamat, or Snake Village as the locals call it, is the place to go. The locals have been employed as snake catchers in northern Vietnam for generations. I'm heading to the Hung Snake Restaurant, famous for its 11 course cobra meal. The host of the restaurant, Dragon, is expecting me and has told me that he will join me for my cobra feast. Mr. Dragon also let me know that he is hungry and expects me to finish all 11 courses of the cobra meal with him. They say it tastes like chicken, and if that's true, I'm up for it. Let's see how this goes. My driver takes me down a back deserted alley and we see an amazing building and arrive at the Hung Snake Restaurant in Lamat known as Snake Village in Hanoi. The owner wastes no time pulling a cobra out for me, and this cobra was active. He was hissing and going crazy. He was ready to attack my camera. This was so scary seeing a live cobra up close and personal. Yes, we were hoping that he had anti venom on deck. It was really fun seeing this cobra hiss and move around. Oh, that's the end of the snake right there. The owner stuck his thumb right in his neck and brought the snake to his demise. Now we head upstairs to gut and skin the snake, a still beating cobra heart, and a shot of vodka? Why not? Okay, so Mr. Dragon, yes. what do we have here in front of us? So on the table we have uh, three different things. First glass, first shot is a snake heart mm. with a vodka. Snake heart yes. from the cobra in vodka. Second salt is your snake blood with vodka too. Mm. And snake blood will make me strong. Yes, yes. strong. The heart is better. So in Vietnam we say that um, if you drink snake heart, mm. cobra heart, you can you, 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 you can do five times per night. Okay. With your girlfriend or the wife. So five times per night. Yes. Strong. Last night we did too, mm, too hot, so I am sick today. <laughs> Last night, we did six times. Five times is enough. Okay. Not more than six times. So only five is necessary. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you can drink now. Okay, if what you do... you can drink alcohol, you can drink now. What do I start? Start uh, with the, the heart? Start with, with the heart. heart. Yes. Okay. A little bit of bile and the blood. Just for mm. a little bit, not much. Okay. Here goes the snake heart. From a cobra. 
Mut, hei, bu, zu, wow, bafu, strong, wow, mas mau pikir longer, wow, <laughs> wow, chewy like gum, <laughs> bile, bile, mm-hmm. whole thing, yes. Wow! Wow! A little bit bitter and sweet. Woo. Yes. And now, snake blood just to like wash just it Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes, not much. Oh, oh. Small salt is, a, is <coughs> okay. It's uh, good for health, but not much. Woo! Yes, yes. <laughs> wow. wow. You feel stronger now? <sighs> I feel stronger. <laughs> Wow, but it's very bitter, very bitter. Yes. Are you ready to go to <laughs> go to the bed? <laughs> to your uh, partner, no girlfriend? No. Oh. I go find for you trigger. I think triggers. I need. Okay. Yes. <laughs> bring, bring, bring. Yes, I will call them immediately. Okay. <laughs> and you can okay. go to my room. So, it's snake penis. Hmm. Two snake penis. Oh wow. Wow. You see? Wow. Two penis. It's very, very two good. Two penis one. Yes. No, three penis one. No, two. Really? Wow, very good for men. Powerful. Mmm. Mmm. You should give it. Mmm. My host seems to be having a little bit of fun with me. But hey, this is what it's all about. I'm up for anything. A little snake penis only makes the night. More exciting. Is that really? Yes. What it is? That's yes. penis? Nice. Mmm. <laughs> you you have to fight. Oh, that's why they call it the hung snake. Yeah, and you should <laughs> eat it now. Boom. Mm. So where do I start with this? Where do I start? Yeah, and you just eat. Just bite it? Just by, yeah. you no by the mouth. Oh my goodness. He doesn't yeah. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Like a chicken wing. <laughs> Very much like a chicken wing. Like Why are you laughing? <laughs> because he has no so bad tonight. So he, <laughs> he, has no he, he has to selfie in the toilet tonight. I will send him Your some videos. Uh, yeah. Because he has no good He's laughing. He's laughing because I'm a gay snake now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you ate that. <laughs> yeah, this is what he does. Yes. He brings foreigners in here and just gives them a bunch of like crazy shit to eat. <laughs> That's good. I like Very good. Can I keep this? Yeah. Make a necklace? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make an earring? Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Look at him. Isn't he a beautiful boy? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. It's all right, honey. Uh, it's all right. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Oh. So I made it out alive after eating a cobra. I'm on my way to get egg coffee, famous in Vietnam. This is coffee made of condensed milk, an egg, and coffee. It's thick, creamy, And I gotta say, it is the bomb. Highly recommend trying this out if you're ever in Vietnam or if you go to your local Vietnamese restaurant, ask them if they can make it for you. It's a quiet little coffee shop in the neighborhood I was staying in. Very small. And they had teeny tiny tables and almost child-sized wooden chairs in there that were very cute, but not very suitable for somebody my size. And these little cuties came over. They were interested in my camera. Hello. <laughs> and they wanted to say hi. Very cute kids. Hanoi, Vietnam. Motorbikes everywhere, beautiful people everywhere, and it's pure chaos, very hectic. You cannot take your eyes off the ball, or someone will bump into you, or a motorbike will take you out. Actually, I haven't seen anyone get hit yet, but there's a lot going on, and you cannot fall asleep for a second. With that being said, 
Beautiful city, good food. Always something going on. They love to use their horns. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Friendly people everywhere. Very welcoming. A lot of energy. Not for someone who just wants to come relax. There's a lot of energy here, a lot going on, no time to sleep. You could feel that it was a war zone at one time. Vietnamese have a toughness about them. You can feel it. Very friendly, very friendly, but you can feel a certain toughness at the same time. This is the type of place it's gonna take a couple visits to figure out everything. Can't do it. Can't do it in a couple days. You gotta come here, really get the energy, get into the vibe of the people. And even then, you won't figure it out. Let's get the party started right about now. I got love, oh yeah, I got love.